Hey family of Christ, welcome back or welcome if it's your first time. This is Jason, truth seeker John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes unto the Father but by me. He is the door. He's the only mediator between God and man. This is a pre-tribulation rapture channel. I believe Jesus Christ is going to come back at any time to get his people out of here that are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. If you're not saved, please get saved. If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. If you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, he's alive. He died for your sins. He loves you so much. He suffered and died for you. He thought about you when he was on the cross. The nails did not hold him down. His will to save you held him down. But the rapture is about to happen. All the birth pangs, like it says in the in the Bible in the end times, like men will be lovers of themselves. They'll be prideful. The weather is going crazy. The sun is going crazy. The solar flares. It's so hot. I'm sitting in uh, my vehicle now, and uh, I might run out of gas. But I just wanted to uh, do a video. I've got a full-time job, and I've got a family, so I don't have a whole lot of time. But uh, I just wanted to get on here and try to encourage the saints and, uh, and share the gospel with those that haven't heard it before. But if you're not saved, please get saved because the rapture and tribulation is so soon. There's so much going on in the world, so much geopolitical stuff, uh, so many distractions going on. There's so much confusion rampant and we need peace in these times. And we got to stand firm in our belief that Jesus Christ is coming back before the tribulation. All the birth pangs are there and they're ramping up so fast. I'm sure everyone's seen the Yellow, Yellowstone eruption. I think it's called uh, at the basin or whatever. Uh, there was a huge explosion at Yellowstone, but it's just a foreshadow of what's coming in the tribulation. It's gonna be much worse. And there's just, uh, I'm sure y'all can see it out there too, but just like a lack of love in people and i'm on the road a lot so i see it firsthand just uh people getting their flesh and just aren't very courteous anymore but we have to be the lights and salt of the earth but the tribulation's going to happen seven years of hell on earth god's wrath is coming god's waiting for people to get saved and he uses people like me and you to warn people he loves you and he's all powerful. He's not gonna come down and demand you to worship him. He wants to draw you by his spirit and he uses people to do it. He's not gonna come down and force you to be a robot. It says we love him because first he loved us. But after seven years, then we come back on white horses with Jesus Christ to rule and reign. And he's gonna be the supreme leader that's perfect and there will be peace. And it'll, he'll put an end to all this chaos in the future. But uh, the, uh, there was a Beijing meeting and Hamas and Fatah, they're, they're like uh, doing this coalition where they're gonna go against Israel. And you can see the power here in the United States is very shaky and there's about to be a transfer of power. And Kamala, she might be in charge and she's pro-Palestinian, pro-Hamas. And she doesn't care about Israel. Netanyahu just came. And uh, I saw him speaking with the, uh, the Speaker of the House in U.S. Congress, but most of the people didn't even care that he was coming. But it's just crazy how they're treating him because God sees it. And Israel is the apple of God's eye. And he's going to see what happens. Of course, God's probably all, all... He's outside of time and he knows the end from the beginning, but everything has to play out in God's story. But if the U.S. is not going to be there for Israel... God says, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you. Talking about Israel. That's his chosen land and his chosen people. And I'm pro-Israel. Anyways, Jesus said, we got to focus on Jesus, y'all. He's the author and perfecter of our faith. And all these things are causing chaos in people's minds and taking away your peace. Trump's not coming to save us. No man's coming to save us. Our hope is in Jesus Christ alone. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard 
how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If you loved me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto my father, for my father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it had come to pass, that when it come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me. Speaking of the devil, he's still the ruler of this world. Jesus, he died and he was buried, and during that time he went and got the keys back from the devil to conquer death and the grave and hell so he can save us from that. But that the world may know that I love the Father and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do, arise, let us go hence. And uh, this was before he uh, he got tortured and, and died for us. And he resurrected from the dead and he's alive forevermore. He says, you, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Like this channel, it's all about Jesus Christ and bringing people into the kingdom, building his kingdom, not mine. This is all about him and warning people that the rapture and the tribulation is coming. And it also says, greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. He loved us. But he said that he wants us to bear fruit and fruit that will remain because our works will be tried like fire and whatever's not done in love will be burned up everything outside of love is dead works of the flesh that whatsoever you shall ask of the father father in my name he may give it to you these things i make i command you that you love one another And we're gonna go through things while we're here. It says, for, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet our inward, inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, the things we go through here, it's all gonna fly by. We don't know how much longer we have, but this life is gonna be like a vapor, it says. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look at the things which are seen, while we look not at the things which are seen, all this chaos going around that's trying to take our peace, the devil's trying to throw us off track. But at the thing, but we look at the things which are not seen, for the things which are, are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. It's awesome. But Jesus is going to come back and take us out of here. We'll be in glory. We'll have our glorified body. We be, we'll be changed in the twinkling of an eye. No more sickness, no more pain, no more strife. We'll see colors we've never seen before. We'll be able to teleport. We'll be able to fly. And the devil is out to get you. We're made in the image of God. God loves us and he wants us to, to share love and the gospel. And the devil wants to throw us off track. Don't be easy prey. Let us not be ignorant of the devil's devices. I got rid of uh, Facebook and Instagram a while back because just the stuff in there can, what you look at affects your soul. So I didn't want to see all the lust on there and all the other drama. So I got rid of that. But uh, be careful what you watch and who you listen to. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So it's important that you listen to the word constantly. I do. I have to hear it constantly so I stay on track. But be sober. Oh, yeah. I'll start before here. Uh, First Peter 5 five likewise you younger submit yourselves unto the elder yea all of you be subject one to another and be clothed in humility we have to stay humble we have to stay humble resist it. god says for god resists the proud and gives grace to the humble humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of god that he may exalt you in due time 
it's almost that due time, y'all. The world's going crazy, and it's almost time for us to be out of here. I can't wait. I know y'all can't either. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. All these worries of this life, he says, cast it on him. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Don't be easy prey. He's going to go after your weaknesses, so you have to be aware of that and be on guard. Put on the whole armor of God that you may, able to, may be able to stand, and having done all to stand in the evil day. We're in evil days. He seeks who he may devour. You have to give him permission. And watch what you say. The power of life and death is in the tongue. We give authority to angels and demons on what they can and can't do in our lives based on our words. Words matter. Whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that, you have suffered a while, make you perfect, established, strengthen and settle you. To be, uh, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. He's perfecting us. He's sanctifying us. Everything we go through here, we're going through the fire. It's perfecting us. We're tried by the fire. That's awesome. Yeah, it's only been a couple days since he, he left here. A day with one day to the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises. He didn't lie about anything. Jesus did not lie. He's coming back to get us. It's a pre tribulation rapture. We're not appointed to wrath. We're not going to be left here to suffer, to prove ourselves. It's not by our works that any man should boast or brag. It's we're saved through faith, through grace, through Jesus Christ shed blood for our sins and nothing else. What we do, we produce good fruit because he wants us to be fruitful. Like John chapter 15, we stay connected to him. He's the true vine. He's the source of all our life. The Lord is not slack concerning his promises as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. If you've done wrong, or you're on the wrong track, turn around. That's what repent, repentance means. You confess your sins to Jesus, not a man, not anyone else. You confess your sins to Jesus Christ, and he is faithful. He lived a perfect life. You come down, God in the flesh, tempted in all ways, yet without sin. So when we're tempted, he can help us overcome the sin. But if we do sin, which we're all sinners, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Every one of us. It's not by works that any man should boast. But yeah, we're all sinners. But when we repent, we confess our sins to him. He's faithful and just to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And he seals us with our Holy Spirit, with his Holy Spirit. But the, yeah, repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. To those that aren't watching, but we're watching. We've got to keep our eyes on Jesus. Keep our eyes above, not horizontal with everything going on, going on. Don't look at the crashing waves. You'll start sinking. Look up to Jesus. He'll lift you up. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens <clears throat> shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Ooh. Yeah. I love this too. Uh, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. This is First uh, John 2, 12. <clears throat> I know I don't reference all the scriptures. You can look them up if you need to. I'm just trying to go with the flow with uh, what he's leading me to. I write unto you, little children, because our sins are forgiven. And he says, if you want to be saved, you have to be born again of the Spirit. And you have to have faith like a child. 
If you don't, if you don't come like a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. We're all like little kids in his eyes, even if we're old. I'm 40 years old and I'm still a kid in his eyes. I'm his little boy. Because your sins are forgiven, he makes you feel like you're his favorite. Like when you're in his presence, like he knows you, he knows you by name. For uh, you, for his name's sake, he's forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. Mm, the word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world. This is what I was looking at earlier. All the things in the world and the plans and the stuff. Like sometimes you can get so much stuff, you become a slave to your stuff. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, thinking we have forever here. We don't have forever. We're just passing through to learn lessons and to help others and to be refined. The lust of the eyes and the pride of life, it is not of the Father, but it is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. And the Bible talks about the wicked will be cut off and they won't be remembered anymore. Those that go to hell, they'll go over their bad memories over and over and they'll have a, they'll have a glorified body too. Like we'll have a glorified body, we'll be like superheroes but they'll have one that just continually burns and suffers and they'll be forgotten. Like uh, watch Randy K and people that go to, they've had uh, testimonies on there where they'll die and they'll go to hell and heaven and they come back to tell us about it. I believe it because it matches up with the word. But uh, it says the wicked will be cut off and not remembered. Like the memory of them is forgotten, but we'll be remembered forever because we're in Christ we do the will of the God or will of God and God this is what we have to look forward to and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away and he that sat upon the throne said behold I make all things new we're new creations in Christ Jesus. When, we, when we're born, we're condemned already, and he recreates our spirits. We're actually new creations. God is like, he recreates our spirits and quickens our mortal bodies whenever we, like, whenever the rapture happens, he'll quicken us, and those that are dead in Christ, they'll quicken, make alive. That resurrection power. Jesus resurrected from the dead so he can resurrect us from the dead. See notification popping up Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at US Congress Whew. prophecies being fulfilled at a super accelerated speed and he said unto me write these words are true and faithful and he said unto me it is done I am the Alpha and the Omega it is done just like he said on the cross it is finished his finished work his blood that he shed for us that's what saves us that God blood, God DNA, Holy Spirit DNA that we have when he recreates us. I'm Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give to him that is a thirst of the fountain of, fountain of the water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Awesome, man. I love his word. Ephesians. And those that tell you you can lose your salvation, that's a lie from the pit of hell. If you're truly saved, you cannot lose your salvation. That we should praise, we should be to uh, that we should be to the praise of His glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom you also trusted after that you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you, after that you believed. You were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. He shed his blood to pay for us. We belong to God. We are children of the Most High God. Ephesians chapter 1, 
verses 12 and 13 and 14. I'll leave it there. Just wanted to speak some truth and love. Love y'all. This is life. Life. This is the most important thing we can talk about. If you're not saved, get saved. The rapture's coming, and then the wrath of God's coming. It's so soon, y'all. It's so soon. We don't know exactly when, but it's got to be soon. All the prophecy convergence is there. Peace, y'all. Love you so much. Sorry that I haven't been replying to all the comments. It's I just have a full-time job, and I have a wife, and I have little kids, so they, they take up all my time and the job deliver doors for a living it's awesome because I was thinking about that how I deliver doors like I didn't go into ministry when I was younger like I thought I should have you know but God makes all things work together for good but I deliver doors and then I think of that scripture where Jesus said I am the door so I'm trying to deliver his door the door through here through this channel to reach others pray that God blesses this to bring more people into the kingdom and that this encourages the saints I love y'all so much. I'm staying humble in humility. I know I posted the picture of me training, but or the uh, little video, but that God wants us to be prepared. Stock up on some water and food. I mean, we're not gonna be here for the tribulation, but things could get rough until then. So it's smart to stock up on some food and water. And uh, I'm not selling anything here, but I'm just telling you to be prepared. I love y'all. And I hope this encourages someone. And uh, if you've stayed until the end, uh, put in not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Love y'all. Peace.